Hi, Clark Kent here. Uh, I know you're usually used to seeing uh, Trey Passer here doing his uh, Saturday reviews, but I asked him if I could uh, review two of my favorite uh, um, movies that I've seen. Uh, they are actually animated movies, and he said, "Sure, why not?" And you know, I did him a favor, standing in, you know, standing in for him during those Man of Steel videos he did. So uh, he said, "No problem." I said, "So thank you, Trey Passer, for letting me uh, do this review." For you and also uh, just for future reference um, when the uh, Batman vs Superman movies come out he told me that I can do a lot of that coverage too because he likes my reporting on that so uh, okay thank you Trey Passer for you're far too generous letting me guest star on your channel so thank you for that and I have two of the movies right here that I'll just be uh, my reviews of those the two animated movies uh, ironically they're Batman movies uh, Batman I'm used to covering Superman but yeah, you know, I'm flexible. I'm a reporter, daily, you know, reporter, you know. Uh, so I'm flexible. Okay, uh, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Okay, and Batman, Sub-Zero, Batman, Mr. Freeze, Sub-Zero. Okay, so let's go with uh, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm first. That one came out, this one actually got released in the theater. I think it got a theatrical release. Okay, and it came out in 1993, and it's 76 minutes. And basically, uh, in this movie, Batman is kind of uh, falsely accused of uh, taking out mobsters because there's a character going around called a Phantasm that's uh, actually uh, taking out mob bosses, and Batman gets kind of blamed for it. <laughs> okay, and this movie is fantastic. First of all, they del delve into Batman's past in this movie. You actually get a little backstory on Batman before he became uh, uh, Batman, and they go into his past, and, and you get to know that he had a a love before, you know, and what happened without spoiling it. He, he has a past love that kind of figures into the plot, okay, and they give you a little backstory on that. And then, of course, you have this mysterious character of the Phantasm, who's Batman trying to catch, and you know, the you know, and solve this mystery of why this 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 creature is, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, destroying these mob bosses. So Batman has to figure out who this Phantasm character is and and, and why. He, why is he or she doing what, what they're doing, okay? And it's good, and also you have the Joker in this movie, played by Mark Hamill, of course, as usual, with his great, you know, with his great, and who could have ever figured, you know, that Luke Skywalker would make the best uh, Joker, <laughs> but he is, he, that, the voice he does for the Joker is just absolutely fantastic, okay? And like you said, uh, you also have voice work, besides, you know, you have Kevin Conroy, who did the voice on the animated series, who's just, the perfect Batman voice. Uh, like I say, wherever I would cast him as as Batman, that was just pure genius. Because Kevin Moore, Kevin Conroy has is the perfect guy for Batman. His voice is just absolutely perfect as Batman and Bruce Wayne. And you also have Dana Del Delaney, who plays Andrea Beaumont, you know the past love of Batman. You have Hart Buckner, and you have Stacy Keach, Stacy Keach. You have Abe Pagoda, Dick Miller, and this Ethan Zimmerman Jr. Who the late, I think he passed away last year or early this year who played Alfred Pennyworth in a lot of the comics. And then you have Bob Hastings, who played Commissioner Gordon, James Gordon, and, and a bunch. And like I said, uh, Mark Hamill is a Joker. And it's just a really fun and exciting movie. And it's and like I said, this actually got released theatrically. Theatrically? Yeah, it got released in the theater. Okay? And I don't think it did too well, but it's still a, a fantastic movie. Uh, probably one of the best animated movies ever. I would give this... Mask of the Phantasm, uh, probably an, an 8.5. This is that is that damn good to me. It's just it, it, like I said, I love the way they explore his backstory. You know, Batman's backstory and give you a little clue into. And then of course he has to try to catch this Phantasm character and find out why they're doing what they're doing. So he has to do some investigating and stuff. And of course it's just absolutely fantastic. Okay, so again, 8.5 for. Uh, Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Just fantastic. Definitely worth getting. Okay, I got this VHS there. I gotta get the DVD. I don't think this is on Blu-ray yet, but I just need to get the DVD of this. Okay, now I have this old uh, uh, clamshell version <laughs> of this, of uh, Batman Sub-Zero. Okay, uh, Batman and this one is called Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. Okay, new animated movie, and, and this one uh, you have a character of the Mr. Freeze, uh, 
And what makes Mr. Freeze such a great villain is that he's a tragic villain. Specifically in, in, this, in the animated series, you know, his wife, who's a scientist, and of course his wife is dying, and he, he basically becomes a criminal to, you know, he has the accident that makes him be Mr. Freeze, and his wife is dying, and he's trying to, you know, basically maintain her life, okay? And so, you know, his wife, but in this movie, uh, there's an accident in the beginning of the movie, which kind of uh, jeopardizes the wife, you know, the, he has his wife like, in a frozen state, but there's an accident that happens that causes her to need a heart transplant, okay? And, of course, he has to take up the mantle of Mr. Freeze again to find a, you know, to actually get her a new heart, okay? So she can continue to live, even in that parallel state. And, of course, you know, he searches for the blood, the proper blood type. He actually uh, kidnaps a guy to help him find the, the, the perfect donor. And, of course, in this movie, the perfect donor is uh, Barbara Gordon, a.k.a. Batgirl. Okay, so he basically has to, he kidnaps Bat, you know, Batgirl, and Batman and Robin, who are in this movie, uh, basically have to, you know, find him, of course, and save Barbara. Okay, and in this movie, you get a little backstory. It's not much character development in this movie, you know, uh, but it's more of a, you know, pure action and stuff, and Batman, and, but you do get a little uh, backstory in this, like, you know that, that uh, Barbara Gordon and uh, Dick Grayson are dating in this. Okay, and Batman's not in it. Uh, you don't that much backstory with Batman in this, but you don't need to. I mean, because Batman's Batman. Okay, but it's still an exciting movie. Like I said, they have to rescue, you know, the barber before uh, literally he takes her heart. Okay, and it's a fun, little fun action movie. Okay, and I liked it. It was a nice, you know, anything with Batman and it's, like I said, some, you got the character Mr. Freeze, which is a tragic figure. So that, and then plus, you know, you have Batgirl. And I think she's kind of is the one that kind of really shines in this movie, Barbara Gordon. You know, because she's Barbara Gordon. She doesn't. This is my spoil. She doesn't really change it to Batgirl in this movie, but she's feisty and stuff, and and she's a good character in this movie. So I would give Batman and and Mr. Freeze Sub Zero probably about a seven point seven point eight. Yeah, probably seven point eight. Okay, it's not as good as uh. Master of the Phantasm, but it's a decent watch. And if you like, say, you're a Batman fan and you love Mr. Freeze as a character, and Barbara Gordon in there, you got Robin in there with Batman, and Mr. Freeze is a great character. Okay, 7.8. Okay, 7.8 for Batman Sub Zero. And now, Batman Master of the Phantasm, I would give it a uh, 8.5. It's just, uh, it's one of the better animated movies. Uh, uh, for Batman and like so the people that created the TV show did a fantastic job with this. You know, it's this is right in the vein of the of the TV show. Okay, and I think it came out a little bit right I think a little bit after the TV show or while the TV show was going on, I think. Don't quote me directly, but I think it came out around that same time, so that's why you have, you know, consistent consistency with it. Okay, and it's really, really good and definitely worth watching. And, Let's just say this is one of the better ones, and I definitely would highly recommend this. Like I said, you got the Mark Hamill as a Joker, so that's always good. And you know, 